Most cat owners feed their cats commercial cat food only. But what if we told you that you could actually share your dinner with your cat? Cats might be very particular about certain things, but when it comes to food, they can eat some of ours as well. In today's video, we'll be talking about 10 human foods that are great for cats. Number 10. Oatmeal You might have run into a handful of fitness trainers telling you to eat oatmeal for breakfast if you want to start your day right. Well, guess what? The same goes for your cat. In fact, you can find oatmeal in commercial cat food. However, whether your cat will like oatmeal or not is completely up in the air. Regardless, oatmeal will make for a good meal every now and then. Number 9. Fish You might have caught your cat lingering near the aquarium every now and then. Every cat owner can probably guess why that is. Your cat is looking for its prey, so why not help it out by serving him some fish for dinner? Cats are huge fish fans, which is why you can find salmon in a lot of commercial cat foods. Fish are rich sources of omega-3 fatty acids, which help improve your cat's vision along with other health benefits. Just don't make fish their entire diet. They're not a nutritionally complete food source for your cat. Instead, keep it as an occasional treat when you want to reward them for not scratching the furniture another time. Also, don't throw them raw fish. You might end up making them sick this way. Raw fish contains an enzyme called thiamines that's responsible for destroying thiamine in the body. For those of you who don't know, thiamine is an essential vitamin B. What's more, a serving of raw fish could also end in the case of food poisoning. Don't let them eat fish straight from the sardine can while you're at it. You don't want them to accidentally cut their tongue. Number 8. Cooked Eggs You can also serve your feline friends some cooked eggs to make sure they're meeting their protein intake requirements. A cooked egg from time to time will not pose any harm to your cat. In fact, eggs have been known to contain a whole lot of vitamin B, which is exactly what the cat needs. However, Dr. Elizabeth Colloran, who's the president of the American Association of Feline Practitioners, has warned pet owners all over the world that there's a chance their cats could be allergic to eggs. In that case, you don't want to be serving them eggs. You can check if your cat can eat eggs or not by giving them a little tiny bit to eat it first. Any allergic reactions will be mild and will let you know whether eggs belong in its diet. While you're serving eggs to your feline furball, make sure there aren't any eggshells in there. Number 7. Cooked Meat at the end of the day, cats are not much different from their big counterparts in the wild. Like lions and tigers, cats are also meat eaters. To be specific, they are obligate carnivores, meaning they get their nutrients from meat. Carbs and vegetables don't hold much use for them. The protein-rich diet helps keep your cats healthy. It's equally beneficial for their reproductive system and their razor-sharp eyesight. With that said, don't go around adding spices to your cat's meat. They're perfectly happy with something bland as long as it's properly cooked, though. Also, make sure you don't give your cat any meat that might contain any small bones. You don't want them choking on their lunch. Number 6. Fresh Vegetables Cats are not completely aversive to vegetables. You can serve them some steamed broccoli, asparagus, baked carrots, and green beans every now and then. These are rich sources of fiber and important vitamins. Pureed pumpkin is particularly high in fiber and nutrients, so you might want to give it a try. These help with a variety of cat issues, including constipation and hairballs. Like cooked eggs, there might be a chance that some cats are allergic to veggies. In that case, there will be a strict no-green policy for your cat. But if the situation is otherwise, you can feed your cat veggies without any reservations. Sometimes, you might catch your cat chewing on plants around the house. That is toxic for your cat, and you should remove the plants from their reach as soon as possible. But more importantly, it might just indicate that your cat wants its greens. Number 5. Fresh Fruits The same goes for fresh fruit. Cantaloupe, in particular, is beneficial for your cat. It's regarded as one of the several cat-safe fruits out there. They're rich in antioxidants and beta-carotene. These chemicals help maintain healthy skin, all the while improving your cat's vision. 
Melons are also high in vitamin A and C. Berries are another fruit that your cat might enjoy. These are low in sugar and high in antioxidants. Just don't take a pie out of it and serve it to your cat. Raw fruits work just fine. You can add bananas to that list as well. They hold nutritional value, but because of their high sugar content, they should only be reserved as a once in a while treat. Number four, cheese. Cheese might be a favorite of mice, cat's mortal enemy, but your feline pets might appreciate a slice every now and then. Cheese, along with other dairy products, are rich sources of protein, making them the perfect addition to your cat's diet. It's not the same as meat, but it still meets some of your cat's nutritional needs. Like other food, there could be a chance your cat could be allergic to dairy products. To figure out whether your cat is lactose tolerant, you'll have to once again feed them tiny portions and look for any signs of an allergic reaction. An upset stomach will count as one. Number 3. Fish Oil If for some reason you don't want to feed fish to your cat, you can introduce fish oil into their diet. Emmy Award-winning veterinarian Dr. Jeff Werber says that fish oil plays a huge role when it comes to preventing your cat's skin from getting dry. The omega-3s in the oil can also help improve your cat's coat health. As for how can you introduce fish oil into your cat's diet, you could cook their meat in fish oil. Number 2. Bread As shocking as it sounds, cats can eat bread. They don't eat it all the time since cats don't have much use for carbohydrates. It's regarded as empty nutrition, but the occasional slice doesn't really do much harm. Plain bread is a safe option, but flavored bread is a complete no-no. Anything with chocolate fruits or garlic can be bad for your cat. The same goes for toppings as well, meaning that's a complete ban on butter, peanut butter, and jam. All of these options are high in fat and calories, not to mention the chocolate spread that's toxic for cats. In the end, a slice of plain baked bread with no toppings should grace your cat's food pan. In fact, if your cat needs to take some meds, you can stuff some pills in a slice of bread and feed it to them. The trick works very well with cats who especially have a taste for bread. Number 1. Rice Cats can also eat rice, although only in small amounts. It's non-toxic and won't cause them any harm. Since these aren't an essential part of their diet, you should avoid feeding them in large amounts. Rice doesn't hold any nutritional value, so it's really just a filler for them. If you do feed them too much, there's a chance your cat might stop using the usual food. Brown rice is nutritionally better compared to other types since it's high in fiber. In fact, some vets might recommend that you feed your cat rice when it's experiencing some digestive problems. They can eat white rice as well, but they don't hold much nutritional value. Feeding your cat rice comes with the risk of making them obese, but that's only if you're going overboard with your servings. You don't want your cat to become a lazy couch potato now, do you? Hey, do you know any other human foods that our feline friends might like to eat occasionally? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Inforama, and we'll catch you on the next one.